guys, it's Lady Sin, and uh, we're here for another update to one of our previous contacts. So, somebody reached out to me um, and wanted some advice. I've been doing these little advice videos. This is just my first one, uh, really, that I've, I've already done. I'll put the link uh, in the comment section so you can check it out. Hopefully, I can do more of these, but I haven't really gotten a whole lot of response. Um, so I will leave all the information to contact me if you want some advice. Um, I will leave that in the comment section as well. I urge you to reach out to me because I, I promise I won't bite. Um, and uh, you know, I, I'd like to reach out and help wherever I can. I've gone through a lot of really crappy stuff in my life, so I feel like I, I can help in a lot of the experiences that I've gone through, and you know, just wherever I can help would be nice, right? And maybe you just want somebody to talk to. Hey, maybe you just want to talk about something weird. That's totally fine. I can do that. <laughs> um, but the point of this video is to update you guys. So I had somebody reach out to me um, and uh, I covered it in the last video. Uh, it was the young man who had enrolled in judo with his girlfriend and as fate would have it in a tournament got matched up anonymously with his girlfriend and she judo flipped him and broke his neck so he's been in a neck raise so I gave him some advice in the last video and then I just got an email from him this past week saying hey I want to update you what's going on and man it's it's rough so I'm gonna see what I can do to help um, and uh, I'm going to touch into a little bit of uh, some spiritual aspects of what I like to do. Um, I don't want you to in any way think that this is absolutely law or anything. Like, this is not something that everybody's into, and I completely respect and understand that. But um, we'll just go into the email and we'll see how it goes. Let's just play it by ear, shall we? All right. So... Hello, not sure if you remember me, but I'm the one who sent you the advice question about my girlfriend breaking my neck in judo class. Well, I just thought I would update you. My neck is continuing to heal up. Yay! Probably have uh, about another month in this awesome neck brace of mine. But added to my woes is that two weeks ago I tripped over my girlfriend's cat and ended up breaking my leg. Yep, now I'm in a full leg cast and driving my girlfriend crazy. She's still taking up judo, by the way, which of course makes me a little nervous. Well, any advice on how to break my string of bad luck or to get rid of this voodoo curse on me would be appreciated. So, uh, I'm going to give you a couple, just, you know, a little bit of advice on kind of both sides of things. So, I'm a huge advocate for positive thinking because, um... I know it sounds silly, but in those times where you really get frustrated and lots of anxiety hits you and stuff like that, and you're thinking everything in this world is pitted against you, it starts to snowball, and then you start to attract more negativity, it almost feels like, when you kind of break that cycle and be like, yeah, this sucks, but this is what's positive about it. This is the outcome that, you know... Is, is a good thing about what's going on or whatever it may be. Um, even if it's like the most difficult scenario that you're in, if you can spin it in a positive light, if you can kind of start thinking, hey, maybe this was a good thing, you know, then it kind of starts to break that bad luck streak almost. Um, it, I, it's always worked for me. I, I can't say it's always worked for everybody. Right now I'm going through a really tough time, but I started looking at things a little bit more positively and um, it's starting to work even though things in my household are a little tight financially, <laughs> uh, to say the least. Um, but that's kind of my advice as far as like making the world seem a little less against you. Um, you know, and you may be thinking just how could I possibly think of this as a positive thing? This could be one of those, you know, moments where you can look back and be like, this really made my girlfriend and I's relationship very strong. Um, we went through this crazy, crazy accident and look where we are. You know, this might be that for you guys. I think every relationship is going to be tested um, several times throughout the lifespan of the relationship, however long it may last. And um, it kind of depends on how both parties handle the situation as to 
is it something that's going to be forever? And you know, you may not even be thinking on those terms yet, but kind of think of it this way, like you're really being forced to test the connection you guys have um, by being around each other for so so much time in your day because you are kind of limited as to what you can do and you're kind of relying on her for a lot. Um, so maybe it's it's a kind of a, a I guess a test of, I think of things. The situation yeah. kind of lends itself to accidents because you're in a neck brace. You have like this limited range of motion and vision and like you're going to run into stuff, you're going to trip over stuff, and cats are really independent creatures. They don't care that you're trying to walk. They're going to go their direction no matter what. Um, so it, it's almost, it almost would be bizarre if it didn't happen, if you catch my meaning. So maybe it has nothing to do with bad luck. Maybe this is just kind of going to happen because of all the different scenarios. It was like a perfect storm of accidents. But, be that as may, um, how to break the streak, how to make make it through the next month, two months that you have of healing at this point, um, as far as, you know, just kind of your day to day, just be as careful as possible, try to not be as independent as you want to be, because trust me, I know how that feels. Um, I don't want to see you get hurt anymore, <laughs> physically or emotionally. Make sure um, she is okay as well, because even though you're the one in the neck brace and the leg cast, it can be a lot for somebody to handle, um, taking care of another person and not really being able to take all their pain away um, can be a lot. So again, I don't really know your exact position or situation with your girlfriend, so I can't really speak to that too much, but, um, I think communication is key on both sides. So make sure you're listening. But as far as like breaking voodoo curses and strings of bad luck, um, I am pagan. So I do have a lot of things that I do to purify myself of negative energies and that kind of thing. So that's the road I'm about to go down. So if you're like totally like, nope, no, don't want anything about it. That's perfectly fine. I completely understand. Um, I'm not talking like voodoo or witchcraft or anything crazy. I personally just think there are things that we can do to protect ourselves and to purify ourselves of negative energies. And that's what I'm going to talk about. So you were, had mentioned breaking voodoo curses and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. There's actually a thing for that. Um, so first thing I'm going to show you real quick it, the bottle's all jacked up because I've had this Black stuff destroyer oil. So, I like how it says alleged. Um, this stuff I actually do use quite a bit. Um, basically, it's just personally on my day to day, I like to put a little bit over my heart uh, and across, and um, I put a little bit on my forehead and across. I put on makeup, of course. Um, it says destroys curses, hatred, resentments, envies, any evil attentions towards you or your home. So you can um, don yourself with this stuff. Um, you can actually sprinkle a little bit. Well, you can't really move, so I wouldn't suggest you going around the house and sprinkling this. But um, you can uh, you can kind of put a little bit in your hair. Hair is very susceptible to negative energies. Voodoo uses hair quite frequently to. Um, as the personal object to uh, <laughs> cast hexes, bad things to you. Um, so this is a good way to kind of just slop all of that off. Uh, even if you just put like a little cross over your heart with this stuff. It's kind of cool. It's kind of um, ink-like. It is black because it's called Black Destroyer Oil. But I'll just kind of show. Oh, shh. I'm getting it everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... That's what it looks like. And um, it does rub in, so, you know, it can dye clothes and stuff like that. So be really careful. You don't need a whole lot. I put way too much on my hands just now. Um, I'm just going to rub that into my pajama pants that are also black. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's kind of inky, so I wanted to kind of show you what the consistency was. Um, but, yeah, once you rub it in, it's actually, like translucent 
So um, it's not like you're going to have this big black mark on your face if you put it on your forehead. <laughs> Little goes a long way, which is why I've had it for so long. Just to let you know that that's out there. Um, I got mine from this website called Azure Green. A-Z-U-R-E Green. I will put that link in the comments as well. I need to make notes because, man, I'm adding too much stuff to this comment section. Um, but if you're not down for that or you can't find it, um, any occult shop that you have in your area, you might have like a witchcraft store in your area. I don't know where you live. Um, you know, but if you can't come and buy it, totally understandable. Um, another great thing, um, this is this is actually this has been used in several different religions, several different different uh, paths, if you will. Um, white sage, this stuff is amazing. First of all, it smells incredible. Um, I'm just kind of show you what it looks like. You might see it in a little bit more of a stick formation, um, but this stuff. Uh, White Sage will purify any area, so it's going to be more of like your surrounding areas, your home, um, you know, places where you're hanging out, just because you may have negative energies in your home, I don't know. Could have been left by some bad juju by somebody else. Um, but what you typically do with White Sage is you light it, it's kind of like an incense where you light it uh, on fire and then you blow it out, and it smokes. Now the smoke does get kind of hefty, so if you live in an apartment, you probably don't want to use white sage. It gets really, really smoky and it will make your fire alarms go off. <laughs> um, but if you don't have to worry about that or your fire alarms don't work or something like that, totally do this. Um, you basically uh, waft the smoke into the corners of your home, the openings of your home, like windows and doorways. Um, and you can just say like a little chant. Um, it's not like you don't have a specific chant that you have to say. Um, oh, it was the one I used when I moved in here. I cleanse every home that I go to, um, just because you never know who was living there before you. Um, but it's, uh, bless this space, um, all negative energies out, something to that effect. Um, and that can, you know, be in your own words. I'm sure there's plenty online that you can check out um, as to different purification things. Just a simple, simple chant that just says, hey, bad juju out. Get out of here. Um, only, only positive energies in, negative energies out. Something to that effect. And it will work. Um, and it smells nice. Uh, some other things. So white candles. In general, white is protection, purification. White being one of the purest um, of the color spectrum. Um, I have just a standard white pillar candle that I use for any kind of purification. Honestly, I will light this just kind of to purify the space without doing any kind of chants or magic or rituals or anything. I'll just have it lit and just think positive thoughts and it, it feels to balance things. Or, Red is um, another protection candle. Red also does strength, health, passion, and courage. So red's a good candle for your situation. Um, even if you don't, again, you don't have to be doing any kind of witchcraft or rituals or anything like that, especially if you're not comfortable with it. I don't I advocate that at all. Um, but just having this candle lit may give you that, that boost that you need. Um, but especially the strength, health, courage, protection. All of those things are things you need right now. So I think red would be another really good one for you. Um, light blue, healing, patience, happiness, that could be another one too. So that, that um, goes into um, just kind of a couple of things that I use. Um, one other thing, and this is a little bit more costly, so maybe not the best thing, but I'm a huge uh, crystal fanatic. Um, I've, I've been a rock collector since I was a kid, and when I got older I realized why uh, crystals and stones can be really, really powerful if, if used correctly. Um, and by used, I mean just having them on you at all times or around you at all times can be using a crystal. Um, amethyst is my crystal. Like that is, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, it is for so many different purposes. Um, but if you're not familiar with what amethyst looks like in raw form, I'm sure you're familiar with what it looks like when it's like in a necklace or a pendant or whatever. Um, but uh, this is kind of, this is one of them. I've got an amethyst point. 
And then I have, this is what you're probably used to seeing in like rock shops and stuff like that, but I have the, uh, the chunk, pretty pretty chunk. This is my favorite by the way, this is my favorite formation of amethyst. Um, so those, that stone is great for protection, um, kind of using your spirituality, it definitely hones in on that. Um, so it just, it's a beautiful stone. It's not very expensive if you're getting it in the raw form. Um, and it's one of my favorites. There, there are definitely a lot of protection stones out there, but I think that one's one of the easiest ones to come by. Um, but I can list in the comments some of the other ones. So there's a couple of different things you got there. So I gave you a couple of really great pieces of advice. So I gave you uh, kind of the spiritual side and like voodoos, hexes, all that good stuff. And then I also gave you just kind of the practical side of, of your situation. So take which one you like. Um, but hopefully this helps. And I'm sorry that you're going through this. I know this is just, it seems like a whole lot to swallow. Um, but I'm hoping everything works out well. You heal, you are stronger than you ever were before. And you know, regardless of what happened in, in that accident in judo with your girlfriend, I don't think she should stop. It seems to be something she's really passionate about and she really enjoys. So I wouldn't recommend taking that from her or suggesting to take that from her. Um, because what happened was an accident. You know, she didn't do it on purpose. She's not going to judo flip you again. Like, <laughs> she's not going to do that. She's going to be way too afraid to even try anything with you. Um, in that realm. Um, so, you know, just, just let her, let her kind of, um, see this through. Cause I think she'll either absolutely love it or she'll decide that it's not for her, but that's going to be up to her. And I, I think, um, she needs this right now. You know, it's something that she's enjoying. So maybe you won't be doing that with her. Maybe you'll be doing it at a different time. Maybe you'll pick it back up and really enjoy it. Um, but I definitely do not recommend you guys being in the same class or even in the same, affiliation so that this does not happen again. You do not want to spar against your partner, no matter what. Um, because as you found out, accidents happen. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything I got to say about that. But if uh, if you you know have any more questions, hey, I'm, my inbox is there. As you can see, I, I pretty much uh, respond to things as quickly as I can. Um, and uh, I do hope that you enjoyed this and anybody else out there who's in need of advice, anybody else who has some crazy things going on, or maybe not even so crazy, maybe you just want a, an ear, you just want somebody to talk to, um, I will leave my contact information in the contacts below. Please reach out to me, even if you just want to, you know, talk about just random stuff like, hey, what's your favorite color? I'm down for that too. So um, yeah, I'll leave my contact information and you guys can reach out to me. Have a great day.